effective and they were 138 for eight. Now they're 204 for eight. And two good strokes or nine singles is all they need. I don't think even the fans can believe it. Uh, yes, current Casey on strike, uh, Sharif with his ninth over. Slower ball, well kept out. Powell's going to scamper and scamper quickly enough. It's eight more now. It's two fours that are required. Are they going to see this home or will the finish line prove too big a task? Yeah, Roy Bordel taking the command of uh, chasing this target. The senior pro in batting wants to take the strike. What an innings he has played and what a fight back by Nepal. They were in all sorts of trouble earlier, but now they need eight more runs for the victory. A famous victory it will be for Nepal. Four back-to-back -back ODI wins in a particular tri-series in ICC Men's Cricket World Cup League 2. First time ever before ODI wins back-to-back -back for Nepal. But it's not done yet. Mix-up. Powell is quick enough to turn and get back. And I think a good decision from Karen KC who said no, there's no need. So much time, 46 balls left, just eight required. Yeah, look at Karen KC's individual score, moves to 30 odd runs. With a strike rate of 80 odd. What a game we've witnessed here. And they're now clapping in unison. This is extraordinary, it's the only way to describe it. And with the finishing line in sight, can Rowett Powell, can Karen Casey, can they hold their nerves? That's all they have to do. Here comes Sharif. That ball. Plenty of time. That's the key, Paresh. And look at uh, Roy Bordale. He's so composed in the middle. I really like his approach uh, towards the chase. And uh, look at the dugout off the Nepali side. There's uh, the physio Vikram Nupani and the subfielders Pim Sarki, Surya Tamang and Gulsun Ja. Yeah, behind the scene. Umpire just establishing. A few things and making sure play is set to continue. Eight to win. Full toss worked into the leg side, going to be runs, just one of them, protection out there. It's a subfielder, Liam Naylor's on. I'm not too sure who he's on for. Too much going on for us to tell. Yeah, it's just a brilliant knock by Roy Bordell, the captain. He hasn't thrown it away from the start, just building up. He built his inning to his perfection. That is what a batsman should do. What a sight. Not a single patch of grass available. KC guides it down to third man. These two have batted so intelligently, haven't they? Haven't really taken many risks. And even when they have, Rowett Powell, it's been calculated risk. He's hit some big strokes down the ground, in four sixes in total. But all of them have been right in his hitting arc. Yes, just six runs remaining for the victory for Nepal. And now a neat touch by Karen Casey down to third man for a single. Worked away. Going to be at least one. Will be. They won't mind if they get them in singles. It doesn't matter. And critically, Powell will keep the strike. He's into the 90s. Still a chance of that 102. 43 overs have been bowled. 208 for eight.
Just one big blow is all that's required now. Five to win. The overs left are immaterial. They don't matter. What does matter is there's just two wickets in hand, so I cannot rule out another bit of drama. If one of these two were to fall, it would bring the number 11 to the crease, Lala Rajbansi. It's going to be Brandon McMullen now to bowl the 44th over from the pavilion end and a little bit of pantomime with George Munsey, who's down at third man in front of the big throng of the crowd there. Five to win. Yorker, well bowled, kept out by Powell. And nicely bowled by McMullen in his 10th over. And nicely played by Roy Powell. Look at that. With soft hands, straight to the bowler. And nicely done. A good cricket all round. Fresh, you've watched this team for many a year. You've played for the national side. You've captained them. I just want to get your thoughts after this ball. Powell keeps it out. Where would this rank in terms of their greatest ever victories for the nation if they can get there? I think I'll rank it on the top. Top of the list. There's four run changes. Two dot balls. The dot ball will, will, will not bother Roit Bodell. Only five runs to get to get a victory. Guided away. Again, the roar indicates it's another one marked off. It's just four to win now. McMullen limps through in his follow through. And my God, this is quite incredible. The drama we're witnessing. Just four to win. An outside edge to the boundary will do it now. Well, Karan Casey has three balls to score the winning runs. It was so Palkami with the winning runs in the last three matches. Now it's time for Karan Casey or Roy Podell if they stay there to win the winning runs. Four to win. Casey on strike. Kept out. And a smile and a glance back at McMullen. So often a delivery that he would have just hit out of this ground and sealed victory. And just shadow batting it there, but not yet, he says. Not yet. Full face of the bat to the bowler. And has a smile to the bowler. Look at Karen Casey. Scotland have played a huge part in this series and this climax. What a game it's been. Dug in. I think they're determined to get there in singles. A kick of the turf in frustration. The crowd react accordingly. Laughs and howls of derision. So much nervous energy in this incredible amphitheater. It's a Tuesday afternoon. And there's not a single person who's left this ground. They want to be here to see the winning moments. Who will it be? Will it be KC? Will it be Powell? And last del delivery of this over. And nicely behind the ball at the end of 44. Nepal 209 for 8. Still plenty of nerves in this ground. They don't quite know whether they're going to get there just yet or not. But the way Powell and KC have approached this chase, they've had it with such responsibility. Remember, they came together when Nepal were in all sorts of trouble at 138 for 8. They put on 71. They desperately want it to be 75. Big, big cheers. Here comes Safi and Sharif. Powell on strike. Helped around the corner. This is it! This is it! Nepal have taken the most incredible victory from the jaws of defeat! Rohit Kumar Peril, the 20-year-old national captain, 
has dragged his side over the line with the most incredible innings of 95 not out, complemented brilliantly by Karen Casey. The folk hero 31, there's people on the pitch, there's hugs all around. And every single member of this crowd will never forget that moment. They piled, they've made it four from four. They've won by two wickets. I'm not quite sure how they've done it, Paresh. But they are dragging themselves back into this Men's Cricket World Cup League 2. On one of the greatest occasions in the history of Nepali cricket. And there's not a dry eye in the house. Yes, incredible victory for Nepal. Four out of four in this series, the tri-series. Namibia, Scotland and Nepal. They beat Scotland two times. They beat Namibia two times. Four out of four. This is the first time in League Two. The series has been won. Four out of four. Handshakes all around. And How beautiful is that to see George Munsey, who played such a brilliant innings, takes 10, 15 seconds to tell Rowett Powell how special a knock that was. This has been one of the great games probably the greatest game in Cricket World Cup League 2, maybe the greatest game in Nepali history, as you said, Paresh. And on a stage, so fitting, unbelievable scenes. Nepal have taken the win by two wickets. I guess uh, handshakes all around. Uh, and the day started by this guy, Sandeep Lamichani, taking that four wickets. Uh, taking the wicket of George Munsey was going very good, guns blazing. And look at the VIP area, all standing and applauding the ne Nepal team. And look at Lalit Raj Bangsi, he's taking a wicket for as a souvenir. Well, it's all about one man here, it's that man on your screen. Keep the camera on him, Rohit Kumar Paul has played probably the best ever innings in Nepal's ODI history. He's done it as the captain at the age of just 20, 95 not out. An innings that will lie long in the folklore Monty Ball it's well alive warm greetings for his opposition 95 off 101 four sixes seven fours I watched every ball of it Paresh I still don't know how Nepal have won that game and then Monty Ball lifted into the sky uh, yes uh, that is what uh, the great coaches do to a team for our out of four wins uh, and credit goes to Roy Pogel the way he batted the way he Approach the chase. That was incredible. My man of the match, my player of the match is Roy Pogel, for sure. There's only one choice. And what's more, maybe a contender for the player of the series as well. Mark Watt and Sandy Plamachani will have something to say about that. Four matches on home soil, four wins. We'll confirm it again. Nepal, they've won by two wickets, thanks to one of the great partnerships in their history. As Monty Desai goes out to the groundsman, to pay his tribute to them again. Let's take a quick look at this partnership because it is incredible. It's worth 75 from 74 balls, 40 in that partnership for Powell, including the winning runs, 31. And our thanks to those men and women who've worked so, so hard. And signatures are plenty. And namastes and dandavads are plenty too. More touchy moments. What an atmosphere. What a day. What a game of cricket. Yes, it has been a very fruitful uh, tournament for Nepal, the Tri-Series, and the grounds personnel and the curator, they have done a very good job preparing these wickets under su such circumstances in winter. That's incredible. And preparing the pitch for the batting side to win, the chase, the highest total ever, and look at the Monte Ball, he's clapping to the crowds, to the spectators, thanking them as a 12th man, here in numbers, in all three matches for Nepal. Well, if you question the belief of this nation and this man, 